a, a difficult question to answer because there are so many challenges. I think firstly, and this is common throughout Asia, there's a real stigma surrounding insolvency in Indonesia. Um, I think Indonesian companies find it very difficult to accept that they're suffering the consequences of financial distress. And that means they often face up to their problems too late in the day. Typically, in, as a restructuring advisor, you would tell your client that at any sign of financial distress, they should think about contingency planning, they should think about talking to the stakeholders in their business and uh, figuring out how to deal with the problem as it develops. And you would strongly advise them to do that as early as possible um, so that they don't come to a position where they start to run out of cash, liquidity is tight, um, there's real value destruction through the inability to run the business correctly. Now, in Indonesia, as in the rest of Asia, sponsors, management of businesses are very bad at doing that. And it typically means that when you start dealing with a distressed Indonesian business, um, you know, that happens a year or so after it should have done, at a point where liquidity is tight, at the point where there's a real crisis, and it's difficult to um, slowly and rationally plan a solution for the business. Second problem is that Indonesia has a, an unpredictable legal system. And that means that creditors have limited certainty regarding enforcement of their rights. Um, they find it difficult to understand what the company's financial and operational position is, um, largely because um, there's often inadequate disclosure uh, and the legal system doesn't force adequate disclosure. Um, in addition, you know that if you go through the Indonesian court-sponsored restructuring process, which is called PKPU, there is a real um, uncertainty involved. The process itself has, um, has been tried and tested in recent years, but there isn't a long history um, of successful PKPUs that you can look to in determining what the outcome of, of your restructuring will be. Um, similarly, the Indonesian legal system has no concept of precedent, which exists in common law jurisdictions. Precedent is um, the concept of a previous decision handed down by the courts being binding on the courts moving forward. And that, of course, gives a degree of legal certainty. The Indonesian legal system doesn't have that. The result is that if you um, are involved in an Indonesian court process, the particular outcome of a set of circumstances depends on the view taken by the judge based on all the facts and circumstances. Um, that means that you know, as a creditor or even a company going into a restructuring process, um, there's inherent uncertainty.